Good afternoon from the rooftop of the KXOY studios in downtown Spokane. A gorgeous start to the three-day holiday weekend. But before you start celebrating the 4th of July, we have some news to get to. A lot of people obviously want to celebrate the 4th of July with fireworks. You've heard it all week long. Be extremely careful. Another hot weekend means fire danger extremely high, especially with fireworks legal in so much of our area. Local fire bosses are practically begging you to leave the pyrotechnics to the experts. But if you still want to set them off yourself, make sure it's legal to do so and keep plenty of water handy just in case. If you don't have plans for the 4th, the city of Spokane has you covered. They've done all the party planning. All you have to do is show up. The party goes on all day tomorrow at Riverfront Park, culminating with the fireworks show over downtown Spokane. You can find details of all the big fireworks shows in our area right now on KXOI.com. Our newest reporter, Brittany Paris, will also give you the full rundown of events live tonight on KXOI 4 News at 5. And my favorite story of the day, one that's probably making the rounds on a lot of other Facebook feeds today, a guy came to court charged with burglary only to be recognized by the judge. That's because they went to middle school together. Awkward, but it was also really touching too. You may be surprised what the judge told her old classmate that had him in tears. See the full exchange and then the story behind it tonight on KXOY 4 News at 6. I will be in for Nadine tonight, anchoring the 5 and 6 o'clock news. I hope you'll keep me company and have a great holiday weekend.